man, so Band Man Kevla has found himself in the news once again, and I can't lie, the man is a marketing genius. But here goes the issue right here. You have people that can market businesses like crazy, but when you're marketing yourself as an individual, one thing that you have to account for is your emotions, because some businesses exploit situations and they go ahead and receive attention for it. But as an individual brand, you have to exploit yourself and you receive attention for that, but how do you deal with all the bad attention that comes in with that shit? That right there is what we gotta talk about right here today. Essentially, Bandman Kevin got a heebie-yell and he does not like the attention that he receiving for that shit. So Bandman Kevin is getting made fun of for, you know, his new action figure body and also people are side-eyeing him because he got some interesting tattoos. We're gonna get into all of that. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel. I am gonna post this on the main channel, but do know we have a music channel called I Can't Sing So I Talk Music. That's everything that's music-wise and I also have an exclusive black Twitter channel. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out all the pinned comments for those right there. But let's get into the story. So if you did not know, Bandman Kevin is a guy from Chicago. He rapped but he's not that popular for his raps he's popular for just being a social media personality where he pushes um tips to go ahead and clean your credit as well as shows his lifestyle off you know he's one of those money guru type of guys now as far as controversies in the past when it comes related to this topic right here people got on him because he's been getting surgery on his body and as a man that shit is taboo i've covered this topic in the past so i kind of get an understanding for what my audience gotta say about that shit because he got liposuction surgery and the reason why he got liposuction is because he felt like no matter how much he went to the gym he wasn't losing any weight but everyone that knows something about fitness that the gym is just not even 60 percent of what you need to do most of everything you have to do is your fuel which you put into your body your nutrition so if you change your nutrition that can help you lose weight me myself i know i know my main issue is nutrition as far as why i'm not losing weight that i need to lose you feel me because your nutrition can be on point you don't even have to go to the gym your body gonna be right so a lot of guys over here on my channel was like nah we ain't buying that bro if you want to go ahead and get right you could have figured that shit out but Hey man, Band Man Kevil is known for taking shortcuts in life. He did it with scamming to get more money. He teaches people how to finesse his credit game. That boy right there has figured out the shortcut and that's what he doing right now. So, so listen, he got a little slight beef with goddamn Block Boy J beef that's popping off. We're gonna talk about that, but first thing first, this is the first thing that happened that got everybody talking. Kanye wore White Lives Matter on a t-shirt. That shit went crazy, so Band Man Kevo that man is marketing so he went to go ahead and do this right here and put it on his leg now that right there is a whole nother degree of clock chasing my boy like listen i ain't mad at you because you're gonna stand on what you want to stand on and that's on you to receive the smoke that you can receive but i gotta call it like it is this is grade a clock chasing you want the attention <laughs> So you're doing this shit. And it's crazy to me. I ain't never gonna put that many white men on my body. <laughs> Bro, this nigga got Elon Musk, Mike Zuckerberg, Bezos. He got Trump on there. Well, who else he got on his body, bro? I think that's Bill Gates. Bro, why do you have all these white men on your body and then white lives matter? That's crazy to me. He got Kevin Samuels on his thigh just looking at his dick. <laughs> Bro, what's up? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, man, bam, man. Listen, it's all jokes, bro. <laughs> it's all jokes. You know you got to catch these jokes. You know you got to catch these jokes. So I get what you're doing, but it's all come with attention. That's why I said at the beginning of the video. But when you're a marketing genius and you're marketing yourself, you have to deal with all the attention that comes with that shit. So it's different from marketing the business versus just marketing yourself, you know? So that's what he's dealing with. And I'm going to show you guys how he's dealing with that smoke. Once again, people are kind of, they ain't going in on him. Of course, as you would imagine, he responded, um, white lives matter, black lives matter, all lives matter. So, you know, yeah, that's how, that's how he coming with it. But as this person right here saying, um, Oliver Rothstein, um, I can't get over this nigga, get an abs implanted. He been on nut shit so um let's get to it so recently band man kevin dropped some new pictures now i seen the pictures as a meme before i even knew it was band man kevin i'm like why the fuck this person body looks so fucking weird that shit look weird as hell so that's why i seen first but then i seen this right here pop up from black boy jb and i'm realizing oh that's band man kevin like i even had to pick pe the picture to see if it wasn't a photoshop shit and i'm like Okay, that's weird. <laughs> so this is why I seen it pop up from Block Boy JB. So the homie said, bro, this man really got on the table and said, maybe look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> get down, get down. Hey, is you really strong or you just look strong? Because if I get on the table, if you ain't, if you can't pick up that 200 pounds and you look like you can pick up some 500 pounds, 
That's a serious problem. Answer it. A sippity. My nigga did. Oh, God. <laughs> Yo, even Boosie popped up in the comment section laughing his ass. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying, bro. Bad man, bro. You got you got to accept this attention you're going to get, bro. Listen, it's locker room jokes. You will get your ass cracked on, bro. You in the industry. You putting yourself out there. You can't get mad about shit like that. But you know what Bad man did? He got mad about shit like that. So Black Boy JB came and exposed the DM. So Bam Man definitely responded right to him saying, come see how hard I can hit. Black Boy like, oh, he wanna fight me now. Laughing at him, exposed him, say cheese, gotta post it up here with him. Bam Man came in the comment section saying, I got 250, I can knock him out. Try to say how we work now, y'all. Look at his turn, go look at his turn. <laughs> go look at it. Hey, listen, so that's how you come. Y'all know Black Boy is skinny dude, you know, a little funny laughing dude. Like, dudes always want to beat up the funny guys. <laughs> the funny guys, though, when the joke's coming up, when you cut, y'all know grade school, uh, coming up elementary, middle school, high school. You know, the dudes that was funny, when the jokes hit too hard and you cracking on somebody who's not that funny, they can't crack back. They getting their emotions. You see everybody laughing at you. That dude wanna fight now. <laughs> that dude wanna fight now. So this is a situation. That's how I'm looking at it right here. Bam man wanna fight now because everybody cracking on him. And this person that's getting the most attention for the joke. So it's so, oh you laughing? You gotta see me one on one. So that boy saying 250, y'all can knock him out, bro. You probably could like, knock him out, bro. But that ain't no flex though. <laughs> that ain't no flex, but it's attention. It is what it is. This is the attention that he wants, and I guess you got to engage for for the attention to grow. And here we talking about it right here. So, listen, what y'all think about the situation? I think this is just like some crazy, wild shit that's just going down. But um, once again, to go back to the initial point. When you are out here looking for attention, it's like. If this is your outcome that you wanted for someone to take some type of bait, if you were intentionally throwing out some bait for someone to bite on it and you can go ahead and try to capitalize off that for more intention, then hey, how, hey, it is what it is. Your marketing, that's what you're doing for your business, for your, you know, for your rap career, which you, whatever you're trying to do. That's what that's your intended attention, intended outcome. But if your outcome was just to rock out and just have fun and you not liking how people are reacting to what you're doing then people can say that, that you're in your feelings but it's all depends on you yourself as a person your attendant thing what you what you what you trying to do with your life you feel me and bad man has said that he's not gonna do things the conventional way and nothing that boy gonna take shortcuts every which way he can to get ahead and that's just him but let me know what you think i'm gonna get up out of here though your boy stacy man and i fuck with you and the reason why because you you fucks with me hey i'm out the Godspeed merch collection is out right now, featuring a basic Godspeed tee that I have on right here, as well as the premium oversized Godspeed tee. Make sure y'all go ahead and get right. Hey man, it's Godspeed on the road to your purpose.